On the 14th of December 1972, American astronaut Gene Cernan became the last man on the moon when he re-entered the lunar module after the third and final moonwalk of Apollo 17. Welcome to HistoryPod. Apollo 17 marked the end of the Apollo program, which had seen a series of historic moon landings beginning with Apollo 11 in 1969. On December 14th, 1972, the Apollo 17 mission itself culminated with Gene Cernan, the mission commander, becoming the last human to walk on the surface of the moon. The mission, which was NASA's sixth lunar landing, involved Cernan and his fellow astronaut Harrison Schmidt, the only professional geologist to ever land on the moon, conducting a range of scientific experiments and exploratory activities on the lunar surface. These took place across three separate moonwalks, or extravehicular activities, which lasted for a combined time of 22 hours and 4 minutes. The third and final moonwalk began at 5.25pm Eastern Time on the 13th of December and saw the two astronauts use a lunar roving vehicle, popularly referred to as a moon buggy, to explore a range of sites and collect 66 kilograms, that's 146 pounds, of lunar samples. They returned to the lunar module after 7 hours and 15 minutes, where the final moments were captured on film. As Cernan prepared to climb the ladder of the lunar module behind Schmidt, he paused to deliver the words, We leave as we came, and God willing, as we shall return, with peace and hope for all mankind. After a debrief with mission control and a period of rest, Cernan and Schmidt successfully lifted off from the lunar surface at 5.54pm Eastern Time. They docked with the command module, which had remained in orbit, piloted by Ronald Evans, two hours later, and after jettisoning the lunar module ascent stage, they returned to Earth, where they splashed down at 2.25pm Eastern on December the 19th. As of 2023, Gene Cernan remains the last person to have walked on the moon. Bollocks to it, that'll do.